there, Charms Design, Captain of the Steams, and I'm joined by Manila London. Hello there, Ivy. Hello, hello. Cool, we're off to his day. It's a wedding fair, but it's focused around the groom. So, never been to one of these before. It's just the first sort of, I don't know, event of the year when it comes to this sort of thing. We're just looking for ideas. Nothing serious. Just having a browse. Having a butchers with the eye peepers. It's nice to have a lot of ideas. It so is. it's spring now. We have the whole year to look at for more few years. Yeah. We've been looking since like five years ago. Yeah, just if we see this. A lot of these events give you freebies. Freebies! Yeah, Everyone I'm likes serious. a freebie. Heck yeah. We'll see what freebies we get, people. Alright, we'll see you there at the function. Now we've arrived, Katie. Yeah, looking rather dapper. I was looking amazing. Oh, yeah. And there's the venue over there, but we'll show you inside as we get there. This is quite a nice place in itself, surrounded by countryside and rivers. So it's Anna and David. And Anna. you arranged this his day because there's just not really much out there for the groom, is there? That's it. No. Yeah, that's it. That's what's great. It's something for the groom to come and see and enjoy. Nice one. Thank you for putting it on. It's awesome in there. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, not so bad. Have you come to claim your... Uh... Your beer. Oh yeah, I could do get a free beer. Lunch. I'm driving so I can't. Can I have tea, coffee or a soft drink? Oh, can I? Fired pizza. I have not heard of a wood fired pizza. Wow. Hey there. They've got a pizza oven in a van. Come on, come on yeah, I got it, yeah. They've got a whole pizza oven in the van. This is if you want dogs at weddings, yeah? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, we haven't got one, but I'll still put you in the video if that's oh. all right. <laughs> it's a nice thing. I mean, my brothers have both got French bulldogs, and they love their dogs like kids. Yeah. So. Now, all you need now is to be in your mind, but I'm going to do this from a psychological point of view. 
I'm going to need you to write down what you're thinking onto my card. But before I do that, I need you to think hard of your card. So think of your card first. And then when you're ready, I want you to name any letter of the alphabet. Now, don't make it obvious. Like if you think of a king, for example, don't name letter K. Or if you think of a two, for example, don't name letter Z. Yeah. Can you name any letter of the alphabet? Any letter of the alphabet. Just choose a letter. Just any letter. H. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and can you please name any number between 1 to 100? Any number between 1 to 100? Uh, 66. 66. So it's 6 and 6, that's 12. That means your card could be a queen. And H, don't know whether it is in the alphabet, but it could be in your card's heart, for example. But do you think hard of your card? For me? You've almost got it. Okay, bear with me. Bear with me, struggling a bit here. Sorry, bear with me. Me? Um. Okay, I believe I've got it. Can you tell me for the first time what card are you thinking? What card do you choose? Oh, okay, what card is it? Ace of Clubs. Look, turn over. It says Ace of Clubs right there. Oh, yeah. nice one. It gets better. Yeah. Lots of applause. And what I haven't told you is that I have actually marked the back of every card. If you look closely, yeah. on the back of every single playing card, yeah. there's a random letter of the alphabet followed by a number between one to hundred. No way. There's 52 different playing cards spread over three and there's 52 different playing cards, yeah. all of which are marked with ran, random letters of the alphabet and a random number between 1 to 100. Yeah. But you've chosen the Ace of Cups, right? Yeah. yeah. So if we're going to move the Ace of Cups, there it is right now. Yeah. And if I come quickly recap, you chose this H and you chose 66. 66. On the back of the Ace of Cups, we have H66. 66. And that's your souvenir to keep. <laughs> www.angusbasketball.com That's pretty awesome! Insanely good! Cool! Text me as magic, there you go! <laughs> That's his number down there! Cool! Very cool! Very talented! Making a YouTube! I really like these ones over here, these jazzy ones! Yeah, that's a fast! These are all the different metals you can use for the frames. Yeah, different metal colours you can use, and then you can change the groove colours, things like that. And yeah, matte, shiny, whatever you want. There's so many different styles there. The bespoke range. Cool. This is a 3D printed range here, oh, which you wow. can get in all these different colours. The 3D printed range, all different shapes, sizes. Nice. You've got more bespoke collections, and then you've got obviously um, Boshi do their own range there, and Maui Gym sunglasses. Cool. That's something you don't get at normal opticians, isn't it? Bespoke yeah, frames. Yeah, very bespoke, very sort of personalised experience. I wondered what these were earlier, but I just didn't, didn't ask. But that's really cool. What, what is it? That's that's the metal you can choose for the frames. Yeah. We didn't really we didn't really talk to you on the first time around. Yeah. So you do all outside events and cars. Yeah, we do cars and events and cars. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, it was great. Something that I really liked about this event is they maximised their space and with it you didn't get any sort of duplicate stands. So there was just one photographer, then there was a videographer. It wasn't just back to back duplicate stalls. We got some fantastic ideas from outside barbecues to even the cars that you can hire for the day to get you to and from the event. Brilliant stuff! Loads of food for thought and talking of food for thought, these sort of things were lovely and I nabbed myself a free sausage roll.
Now this stand blew me away. It had some very high-tech stuff from 360 cameras to this little mini photo booth that when it took your photo all through touchscreen, you can drop in new backgrounds, do AI and all sorts of other shenanigans, it printed your photo within 30 seconds and the photo looks freaking awesome. Here's ours. Now this is something that didn't even cross my mind. If you want the best wedding photos, you need to be in your best shape possible. So there's even a gym here that offers some sort of fast turnaround to getting yourself in shape in time for your big day. But you're gonna have lots of Filipino guests there. They like their Filipino bands. Yeah. It's all outdoorsy stuff. So as long as you get, as long as you've got like good weather, this is all great. Yeah, not so bad. Yeah, I'm just doing a little quick video for the old YouTube. Do you want um, my wedding crazy golf? <laughs> Yeah. We also do a magic mirror photo booth. Magic mirror photo booth? Yeah. Oh, cool, okay. Yeah. So we have lawn games, crazy, there's a nine hole crazy golf, so that's just one. <laughs> so this event is called His Day, and it's all about the groom. Unlike other wedding venues and sort of wedding fairs that are all about the bride, it's a nice little slant and take on the actual affair. And yeah, I learnt a lot. I came away with a lot of ideas. It was a brilliant sort of day out, and I got a freebie or two, including a lovely cup of tea and a sausage roll. Until next time, people, thank you for watching, and take a look at the His Day website for more details.